guys welcome to my youtube channel so uh, today's topic of uh, discussion is uh, we want to understand the detailed difference uh, between hives uh, sort by query and uh, order by query uh, so basically uh, why i am creating a, a separate video on this particular thing is because as such the output of these two queries so we have two queries uh, in hive like one for a sort by and another one for order by the output of these two queries has nothing to do with any differences uh, within their inputs but we need to understand in detail that how exactly sort by works and how exactly uh, uh, you know order by works uh so for this what we need to uh, do is we need to throw some uh, light on the map reduce concepts uh, in hadoop uh, framework basically because when we say we are uh, running a hive query so what do you mean by uh, running a hive query is so whatever query you will uh, write like let's say select id comma salary from employee table let's say this is the query that you want to run so when we say we want to run this particular query what hive engine does is it converts this particular query into a map reduce program okay so basically this particular query select star uh, select id comma salary from employee this particular query is being converted by your hive engine into a map reduce program now when we say a map reduce program okay let me write here so this is a map reduce program so when we say it's a map reduce program it consists of these two phases one is mapper phase and another one is a reduce phase okay so what we have in mapper phase is we have like multiple mappers we can have you no know, mapper one then we have mapper two let's say and in reduce phase we also have two reducer let's say reduce reducer one and reducer two so this is how our map reduce program works now again uh, just wanted to uh, tell you that this is this explanation of map reduce program is at a very high level because altogether this 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 is a topic for a you know altogether a different video so what i am trying to explain here is what all concepts uh, we need to understand uh, the difference between sort by and order by that only i am trying to explain so map phase has let's say two mapper reduce has let's say two reducers okay so what it does is internally whatever data set is getting as an input now in this particular query the employee table is nothing but our input so whatever data set is present under employee table is going to get converted as an input to your mapper 1 and mapper 2 okay so whatever business logic is been written for this particular map reduce program that will be executed as a part of mapper 1 and mapper 2 okay and it will give some output to you now let's understand that as well with some example okay so assume that this is your id and this is let's say the salary column so what we are trying to say here is select id comma salary from employee so let's say as we have discussed this is let's say mapper one all these uh, four records that you are seeing here this this is let's say the output of mapper one and this is let's say the output of mapper two so let me write here mapper one and this is let's say your mapper two okay now as a part of map reduce program what will happen mapper one's output will will be received by reducer one and mappers to output will be received by reducer 2 okay so let's say let's write here uh, that it's a reducer 1 and on the same lines i 
reducer one and reducer two. So this particular output of mapper one is going to be uh, act as an input to reducer one. The output of mapper two will act as an input to reducer two. Now whatever this mapper's output is that needs to be transferred to this particular reducer now as you know this this is how MapReduce program works so between this particular transfer there are two things that that will happen one is shuffling and another one is sorting we are not going to go into the details of these phases i'll uh, create some uh, separate video on this but as of now you just remember that there is something called as sorting that will happen with this particular uh, you know uh, what we can say sh uh, shift from mapper to reducer now let's say we have written a query to understand this particular sort by is select id comma salary from employee sort by salary descending so what user wants is he wants to select id and salary from this table and he wants to sort this particular uh, result by salary in its descending order this is what he wants so ideally he want it like the salary column that has to be uh, ordered or sorted out in a descending manner on the basis of salary this is what he is expecting now basically what sort by and order by will give you is like the same output that whatever you will write as a uh, let's say using the order by query as well there is just a difference of one word that instead of sort by we will write order by that is that's it this is only the difference that you need to do but there is a difference quite a good amount of difference in the way this particular uh, you know words are being treated by your hive engine so what it does is when it comes to the sort by what it does is it just sorts the input per reducer it doesn't care about okay what all things another reducer has and i need to consider those or not what it does is whatever output or sorry input given by your mapper one it just sorts that particular input and creates a different file and mapper 2 and reducer 2 will do the same thing whatever input that has been received by mapper 2 for this particular redu reducer 2 it will just sort that particular thing now let's understand that how it happens so when this particular input of mapper 1 will come to the reducer it sorts it in the whatever query user has asked so what user said is sort this particular input by in a descending way on the basis of this salary column so what it does is it just apply the sorting mechanism of uh, you know in a descending way on this particular column and how does it uh, print it that now obviously like 5000 is the uh, greatest salary on this particular column so it will print 5000 and its corresponding id then after that it has 3000 with id is equal to 101 and salary has has been 3000 then it's like 2600 with 109 id 2600 and last one is this 1800 which is 103 id and this is 1800 so this is how the output of reducer one will be that it will be sorted based on whatever condition is being asked by the user okay the same thing will happen for reducer two as well that it will consider the highest salary first which is nothing but 104 with 4000 salary then 107 with sorry not 107 but 111 with 3100 salary then uh, 107 with 2500 and at last 120 with 2000 of salary 
So this will be the output of reducer 1 and this will be the output of reducer 2. And this particular functionality is given by sort by or this particular output is given by sort by query. Okay, so this is how sort by works that it doesn't considers whether the complete ordering is taken place or not. It just consider it based on the reducer that whether I have sorted the output as per given the condition by the user within reducer or not. So in sort by if you apply this particular clause then you will get the sorted output per reducer. So here ultimately it will create the two files, two part files out of which one will be sorted and another one will be sorted. But if you see this particular output collectively, then you might have some overlapping results. This is how this sort by works. So basically this is the basic, uh, what we can say, this is the basic way how Hive takes care of this sort by uh, result or how Hive engine treats sort by query. Okay. Now when it comes to order by, let me write here, order by. So it has one mandatory thing that your mappers output, like let it be any number of n number of mapper you have. Now here we have mapper one and mapper two. You may have mapper three, four, five and uh, list goes on. So basically, any n number of mappers you have order by says that we need to have only one reducer. So order by has a mandatory thing that the mappers output will pass through only one reducer only. And that is the basic reason why when you apply order by queries, you will get the complete sorting. Okay. So how will be the output of uh, order by query is it will consider first the highest salary within the uh, you know mappers output it will just consider all these eight records and it will uh, try to sort that particular thing. So first would be 106 5000 salary then it will consider this particular record which is present in mapper 2 basically. So 104, 4000, then it will go for this one, 111 with 3100. Then it will go for 101 with 3000 salary. Then what's next? We have 2600 with 109 salary. 2600 then we have 2500 as 107 and we have 120 with 2000 and ultimately the last one is 103 with 1800 so this is the output that you will get with order by so now this is what the difference that you uh, that is in front of you when you say sort by it is going to consider the sorting whether the sorting is happening or not within the reducers scope only so the scope of the sort by is reducer and the scope of order by is the complete ordering so this is what the difference is now there are some uh, you know advantages and disadvantages of uh, both the uh, clauses basically so when it comes to order by since it is very much mandatory for this order by clause that you must have to have only one reducer if you have larger data sets then queries with order by will take extensively longer amount to give you the result but the same thing will not happen with the sort, uh, sort by clause because it will consider just the scope of this particular sorting will be limited to the reducer. So it is reducer specific sorting and this is complete this this sorting or this ordering is based on the complete data set. So now we so uh, 
based on your use case, we need to take a call that which clause we have to use, whether we need to go with order by clause or whether we need to go with sort by clause. So if strict ordering is necessary, then you might have to compromise a bit on uh, the you know query performance, but you will get the ultimately uh, you know complete sorted result. But if you are trying to use the sort by queries, then you might get some better performance than order by, but you might you will get some you know overlapping result. Uh, so this is the basic difference between uh, the function or the concepts of uh, sort by and order by uh, in Hive. So uh, I hope you understood this particular concept. And uh, if you have any questions, any doubts regarding this, do uh, do post your doubts onto the uh, comments and. Uh, I'll try to answer those uh, as early as possible. So thanks for uh, watching this video guys. I'll uh, catch you in the next video. Thank you.